What's up guys, Jimmy Lamb here, back again with another video. Today I'll be telling you, or telling you what these, what these gates are. I, I call them hanged gates, but in reality they're called hinged gates. If you guys want to friend request me on Roblox, this is my alternate new account. So, for like, uh, crossings that are underneath overpass, they use these gates, or like, for like power lines or something like that. And something that the gates, ordinary gates like these, can't touch, like underneath an overpass. Now, yes, they have, they have the original uh, lights for those. But, um, but as, you see, as you can see here, um, they have a special tool where they have a hinge to make the gates go up and down on one end, like that. So it has like a little string, which I'll, I'll pop out my pop socket here just right now and lift up the gate. So once the gate is deactivated, the string will make the gate flop around. Yes, there's two gates on that. I had to use it for this. Now, if it's activated, however, the, the string tenses up, and then once it hits, almost hits the ground, it pulls it, and this part, like right here, it pulls it, makes the end of the gate swing up and down. So when it's stretched out, it pulls that little part of the gate up and down, and to uh, not create any uh, scrapes underneath an overpass, like freeway overpass, or a train overpass, or whatever. So for hinged gates, that's what they are used for. Like right there, I'll see if I can do this. So you can see it's not like an ordinary crossing gate. Which I'll probably see if I can go over to some of these. So it's not usually like these, like the bigger gates or those gates. And if you ask, yeah, I have to get everything back. Like every single of my models I used to have to get downloaded. And yeah, it's kind of annoying. So it's not like these gates, however. So it's not like these gates that are straight. But um, even though they do the little bounce effect. But even though, let's wait for that belt to turn off. There we go. So it's not ordinary gates like that. Much like Colin Hayes Bell that has a big gate. This one has a short one. That one has a kind of a medium-ish kind of gate. So that's why they invented hinged gates. Kind of like they used hinges for doors. But for cr railroad crossings, they're much more different. Now, yeah, I noticed the big truck. But, um, so that's why they have the hinged gates. And, yeah, the LED lights, this one right here, just... Once it's down, up, the thing just plugs in with it. So, here we go. We're just going to move so you, so you guys can see the cable stretch to make it move. There you go, right there. So, you, it pulls it, makes it go up and down on that one end. And yes, I know there's like a gap between these. I know, I just got these models and I don't know, they're, they're like that. I don't know. But, uh, I didn't make these, but... Yeah. So, that's how they use the hinged gates. So, if you guys, like, ask, like, um, is it broken or something? No. It's meant to be like that. Watch. When I, de when I raise the gates, watch. 
So it's meant to be like that. So, like, if your kids say, Mommy, Daddy, the gates are broken. Just say, no, it's supposed to be like that. So that's why they're called hinged gates. So they won't, like, touch the power lines. Oh, that's why one thing I forgot to mention. So they won't touch power lines or underneath an overpass or something like that. So that's why they invent those hinged gates. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, may the first responders like you remember, if you're traveling on the road, see where we're air, please stay safe and remember, Kaiser Steve Cash off you, and always watching you. Bye now.